Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this retro styled image here. Um, it's quite a long tutorial. I might have to split it into two parts, so bear with me if I uh, if I cut if the first video cuts in half yeah, is get is cut in half even. Uh, all the links for the images, textures, and brush pack are included in the sidebar with links. If you need any help uh, adding the brushes to Photoshop, uh, leave a comment or send me a uh, message, and I'll tell you how to do that. Right. So first of all, you want to go Control N. Uh, sorry, yeah, Control N or uh, File New up the top here, and we want to make a new document which is width 750 pixels and height is 1000 pixels, and hit OK, and then we're left with that. We're just going to unlock the background by double clicking on it and clicking OK here. And the way we create that stripe effect that you can see all across there is using the pen tool and different uh, and just different colours with the shape layer uh, filler ear turned on here, so which is that button there. So make sure that's clicked pen tool selected here and the first color we're going to use uh, again these are just custom colors that I was using when I was following this uh, following this through and making uh, making my, my own one um, so the first green I was using was 018270 uh, and hit OK and that's the first one there so then we're just going to click once here once across the top press and hold down shift this is going to give us a nice uh, 45 degree angle click down and then take shift off and then click up again. OK, and that's one done. OK, we'll do the next one now. So just click down here again. Press and hold Shift to get that nice 45 degree angle line. Click across. Press and hold down Shift again. Oh, occasionally does that. There we are. Oh, missed that. There we are. That's filled. And to change the colour on that to the next colour we wanted, which is the light one, uh, just click on the colour up the top and um, hit in 3 BBB. B A nine and OK and that's that. I'm just going to move that into position. Oh, there we go. And grab the pen tool again. Click there. Press and hold down Shift. Click up the top. Click well right. Click down again. And oh, hit down. And this is the final color which we are using, which is the red one. You can add in more colours if you want. Um, you could probably have less, but I think this gives a pretty dynamic, uh, pretty dynamic effect to it. Uh, there you are. There's the red. So let's just move that. And you want to repeat that like I've done until you get your background like that. Different lengths, different shapes. All right. And to get the white between them, I've, here's one I've done all, earlier with all my shapes. Um, we're actually going to add a uh, layer effect, uh, the stroke effect. So if you right click on shape 1 and go blending options or double click on it and open up the blending options uh, uh, blending options menu and we'll click on stroke down the bottom here. Uh, size needs to be 3 pixels, the position is inside and the blend mode is normal, opacity is 100%, fill type is colour and colour set to white and hit OK and there you are, there's the white line across there right instead of having to run through that and do it on every single one we're just going to right click on shape 1 and we're going to copy the layer style and we're going to click on shape 2 press and hold down on the left shift button and then left click once again on shape 7 so they're all selected, right click on uh, on the now selected layers and then left click on paste layer styles that will then um, basically copy and paste uh, the layer styles that we've already made on sh shape one, which was this one up here, onto all of the layers, onto all of the layers that we've made. There we are. Right. So now we need to include a new layer. So go down to the bottom and add a new layer in. It's Control Shift N if you don't want the sh uh, keyboard shortcut. So there's layer one down there. And we're going to include this uh, textured background here. I've already made a selection here, which I'm actually going to use. Um, but you can use the, the whole thing if you wanted to. Uh, we'll res you can rescale it, obviously, if you if if, if and when you need, or to your uh, own personal wishes. So let's click back on that and go paste. And you won't be able to see anything at the moment because it's down here, hidden underneath all these layers. So what we need to do is we need to go up through each layer and change their blend mode to uh, multiply. There we go. And we'll do that for each one. Multiply. Bear with me while I just do this quickly. Oh, I've missed one out. Oh. 
We'll just go back and fix that one, which is that. There we go, okay, and the next thing we want to add in is our text layer. And for this, uh, for this particular effect, I've been using uh, Bauhaus uh, 9.3, which is up there, it's included in the normal um, Photoshop set, regular, and it's 200 pin point. And it's set to crisp, doesn't really matter too much about that, you can set it to smooth if you want. Uh, color needs to be set to white. So I draw a nice big tattoo. Mouse is playing up. Cancel that. Draw a nice big text box, even. I have to move that one a bit. There we go. And type in whatever you want to. I'm typing in. Oop. I'm typing in retro. If I can delete that. There we go. And hit OK. Move that into the middle again. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to extend the R and the T to get these shapes in here before we apply the custom brush shapes. There we are. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get the magic wand tool and we're going to select the R. And then I'm going to get my selection tool up here. I'm going to zoom in a bit for this. And I'm going to move my s ooh. I'm going to move my selection tool over the bottom part of it. Control C and then Control V to paste. There we are. I'm going to zoom out again and hit Control T, and then we're just literally going to extend that white all the way down to yeah, to about there. Um, there we go. I'm then going to get the magic wand tool out again. Select that we've made. Uh, Control C and paste that back in, and add it onto the bottom of the T. Saves me a bit of time there. There we go. I'm going to hit Control T on that again. I'm just going to make the T slightly longer. Oh. There we go. And then this is where your custom brushes come in. So press B on your keyboard or click the brushes tool. Click on the brushes tab here and bring this up. Click on the left arrow, uh, the right arrow here up the top, and go down to where it says. Retro by Dan Hindi and click OK. It will load up the brushes for this. Right, and the first one we're going to use is this one on the top left. And we're going to use a brush size of about 155. There we are. And I'm just going to line that up with the bottom of the page. Didn't do that too well. Let's try it again. Oh, dear. There. Ooh. Let's get the move tool. Just move that left and down. That's going to move that as well. Brilliant. <laughs> Cut that out. Paste it back in as a separate object and we'll join that onto the T again. There we go. And the next brush we want to use, uh, with brushes, is uh, this one over here. I want to put that down to about one, one seven. Oh no, what about that one eighty? I reckon. And just going to move down here and place that there. There we are. I'll do. Uh, we're also going to need to um, join the E and T and the R together. Just for an effect that I've uh, been working on the top with the top brush. So let's select this. Control C, Control V. Just move it along a bit. Paste it again. Fill in the gap with the art. Well, that's not going to quite reach. So we'll just go Control T and we'll extend it across. There we are. And then we want to get the brushes tool out again. And I think we'll use this one here. So that's about 180. Oh no, it's a bit small actually. 200, that looks about right. Uh, there we go. You could make it bigger if you wanted to. Uh, 